Well, hello from Sri Lanka. My very first live stream in this country. And luckily, I feel like I have chosen the absolutely perfect spot. So thank you all so much for coming out. I'm excited to show you guys around. And to begin, please let me know where you are from, what time it is, wherever you are. Because already I see my dad, Gordon McLeod, <laughs> in Bangkok, Thailand. Thank you so much for coming out, dad. I was chatting with him yesterday and he said he is gonna be here today. He is coming along for the journey. Uh, for anybody wondering, I mean, dad, you can write in the comments if you want. But my dad uh, is heading back to Canada in less than a week now. But he has done so well, completely solo, like for basically two months. Like basically it's been two months since he and I were traveling together. And he has done so well to just do his own thing in Chiang Mai. And he got to Bangkok all on his own and is like doing lots of cool stuff. So give him a round of applause everybody he's done so well so thanks for coming out dad we got Sean from the West Coast it is 6 30 p.m. there in the US we got Hirantha from Toronto amazing Mahbub from Dhaka Bangladesh we got BNV from Malaysia, man. Very varied audience today, amazing. Travel with Gopis from Vancouver. Oh, Harriet, Jim, and Yuki, Costas World of Music. Thank you for coming out as always, you guys. Really appreciate it. We got Irvin here. Amazing. Fantastic. Oh, and my mom is here. Privet. And my mom from Calgary. So sweet. Thank you all so much for coming out. I appreciate it because the time is a little bit different than my usual. I'm starting earlier local time than I usually would in Southeast Asia because, you know, Southeast Asia is like ahead of us. So, uh, yeah, I hope I still hit it at a fairly good time. You know primarily for North America because that's the majority of my audience but hopefully as many other people as possible as well thank you so much to Robert Lear for the super chat that is so sweet of you thank you so much really appreciate that uh, oh we got somebody else in Bangkok Tyler Moore is in Bangkok amazing fabulous all right guys it has been a journey i am surprisingly uh on my last four days here in sri lanka it has gone by so quickly i've been here about three weeks it has been like a mad rush in many ways to get all the things that i wanted to filmed and even having done that there is still so much here in this country that i would love to come back to to see but unfortunately right now it's really only the south that i'm able to comfortably comfortably see uh, because that is the good season dry season here whereas in the north right now it is like their monsoon so it's actually opposite seasons in the country which makes seeing the whole one in one trip is a little bit difficult so that's why i'm sticking to the south and i say it's been semi comfortable <laughs> because it's been so hot it has been so hot here in sri lanka that it makes it extremely difficult uh, especially here in the south where we are to really go out other than just in the day and then also at night midday when you know it's the sun shining and sure it would be great to film it's just so extremely hot so it has been challenging really in that way. Uh, Ernest Connell, thank you so much for the cute super chat. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. So kind of you guys to support my channel. Thank you. Uh, 
but if you've already seen my videos you'll know that I was already in Colombo in Candy the next video that I'm currently working on and that should come out either later I guess my later today your tomorrow um, or on the weekend will be Ella then I have Marissa and then I will have Gall here so that has been my schedule for three weeks of travel um, I saw some little places nearby all of those cities as well but you know Sri Lanka in and of itself isn't a huge country but it takes a while to get from place to place so it actually has been you know a journey <laughs> to get from one place to the other uh, Costas World of Music Memories, thank you guys so much as always for coming out and the super chat. Take care of your skin, Alina, Harriet, Jim, and Yuki. Thank you guys, I am trying. Uh, just yesterday, I layered up the sunscreen and thankfully it kept me fairly um, sunburn free because yesterday was like 35 degrees and I was filming all day, but today my skin is like sensitive. That's the one thing that happens with being out in the sun basically day in and day out, even if you cover up. I find my skin gets very sensitive. So the next place that I will be going to, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be as hot overall. So it's actually going to be, it's going to be a treat. And uh, just a quick note on that before we get started, I am leaving for there in five days. So... I may do a live stream that weekend because my first city is like super exciting and really different. So I feel like I should do a live stream from there. I'm not going to announce it until I'm there. So <laughs> I hope uh, you guys are ready for a whole new adventure. It's going to be fabulous. Uh, okay, there are some comments that I want to answer and that I will but I want to you know keep it keep it moving here let's get started we're already seven minutes in I'm gonna flip the camera and show you guys what we're looking at here because it's absolutely beautiful look at the Indian Ocean fabulous what's nicest today is uh, it's not that windy which would make it a bit challenging for the sound of this video but challenging in that the wind doesn't cool me off as much as it did yesterday so the waves aren't too big here on the water uh, as I said we are in Gaul uh, Gaul Fort to be more specific this is in the most southern part of the country it's kind of like this little peninsula that sticks out from the mainland and this is of course initially a colonial fort that was built by the Portuguese in 1588 but it was very minor sort of construction it was really the Dutch in the 17th century that made most of the buildings you know in the fort and most of the fortifications and then after the Dutch it was the British who then took over power of Sri Lanka and made it a colony so they had their influence as well and then finally finally Sri Lanka was able to have its independence and now it is a cultural and historic city it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is a very popular place for tourists to visit understandably because it is just you know it's really charming it's really beautiful it's got these beautiful cobblestone streets the architecture is still in very good condition in my opinion uh, I don't think all the buildings are from the original time but quite a few are and usually if you can kind of see in the distance there they'll have the um, age that it was built so that one over there is I think it says 1867 uh, we'll have to check when I'm closer so yeah there is some actual historical architecture but then other things like this beautiful church is being refurbished so a lot of history a lot of beautiful culture 
Uh, right over here is really the landmark monument of the whole fort, which is the lighthouse. It is still in use today. Uh, just at the start of it there, it says 1938. So I assume that was the year that this one was built. I think there was an earlier one that was torn down, but this is the most recent one and that is still in use. Very, very nice. But we are actually going to head this direction on the fort. I have a whole semi-ish itinerary that I want to uh, give to you guys. The whole parameter of the fort, if you just wanted to walk the walls, which you can, is about two, two-ish kilometers. So I don't know, maybe that takes about 40 minutes to walk the whole thing. But of course, there's a lot to see on the inside of the fort as well. So we are going to do that. And let me know in the comments, has anybody been to Sri Lanka before? I'm very curious, and Gaul specifically. <laughs> we have Glenn Kale from uh, Freezing Cold Saskatchewan. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out, Glenn. <laughs> yeah, my dad's gonna be back next week. And I think I remember him saying that the weather is anticipated to be between like minus five and 10 degrees, something like that. So that's supposed to be fairly warm for Saskatchewan. <laughs> so hoping it is because I'm sure he's used to the, well, it's too hot right now in Bangkok. It was better in Chiang Mai for him probably, but he's nice to the nice warm weather of Southeast Asia. So it's certainly gonna be a shock when he gets back to snowy Saskatchewan. <laughs> Oh, we got Everton from Brazil, 11.30 p.m. there. Very cool. Thank you for coming out. PNV has been here. Kind of looks like Sylvan Lake. What? <laughs> I don't think so. David, amazing view, thank you. We got another person from Toronto, it's 9.30 p.m. there. Jim says, your Thessaloniki visit looked extremely nice, thank you. Actually, haven't thought about Thessaloniki in a while, that is a cool city. Back in 2020, I did my tour of Greece So I want to give you guys, first of all, a view of the beautiful waterfront here. What does this say? Flag Rock Bastion, built in the 16th centuries by the Portuguese. They built a small outpost upon this large and high cliff. Kind of hard to read, but built by the Portuguese. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, what's cool about the floor here, if I'm not mistaken, they've taken some different kinds of like shells and stuff as well, which is really beautiful and built it into the sides of this lookout point, which is really awesome. How gorgeous is this, right? Absolutely beautiful. 360 degree views, lots of kind of little islands there 
even a palm tree somehow <laughs> is uh, growing through rock over there. And of course, the lighthouse just looks very, very aesthetic on the other corner. Very nice. Oh, thank you so much to Jim Ross for coming out. Thank you for supporting and thank you so much for the PayPal, Jim. I saw it just before the stream started. So thank you so much for your support as always. It will certainly come in use to my next destination. So thank you very much. Hope you are doing well. I'm gonna flip the camera here cause it's hard for me to <laughs> uh, look at the stairs and uh, film at the same time here. Let's get this ahead. All right, so we are gonna still walk on the wall of the fort later on, but let me take you guys through a street here because the streets are just so beautiful here. Really, really pretty. Hello. No, thank you. So many tuk-tuk tours here. The nice thing that uh, I will say that they've kept about the fort here is that there's really not any big, really like modern, uh, not maybe modern is not the right word, but you know, big hotel chain or anything like that. I'm really glad that they haven't let in, you know, a big hotel chain or like really commercial businesses and stuff. It's like very local. It's much smaller. I think they have a lot of specifications of the size of buildings that you're allowed to construct in this area. So a lot of the accommodation in here um, is just like local guest houses, similar to the one that I'm currently staying at. And while it's not perfect it's definitely not soundproofed it does just have this beautiful charm to it with like the wood and the white walls and stuff it's very very nice coming up here is actually one of the most beautiful hotels in the whole city and they also have a really nice bar this is the uh, charleston hotel really beautiful five-star hotel for anybody who wants a fancy place to stay at and then they also have a famous bar called charlie's i might actually go there later today hello uh because yeah it's such a such a beautiful sort of atmosphere here Usually I don't like to go sit at, you know, like a bar or a lounge or something by myself, but here it's just like beautiful. Here I'm like, yeah, let me grab a drink on like the balconies here and look over the Indian Ocean. It's just so nice. So it's just a different kind of energy here. Good morning. Happy Women's Day. Oh my gosh. Wait though. What what is today? Is today March March 8th, right? Today is Women's Day. Right? Women's Women's Day is March 8th. Please tell me is if it, if I'm yeah, correct. If it is Women's Day, oh my god, ladies, happy Women's Day. It's our day. I totally did not <laughs> put two and two together when I scheduled this live stream. So amazing. So grateful to all the fabulous women that have impacted my life in so many positive ways. Oh, I guess it is. It's true. It, to, to, today is March 7th in North America. So tomorrow is Women's Day in North America. But today here in the other side of the world, it's the 8th. So happy Women's Day to anybody in this part of the world. Gonna flip here.
There are so many cute little cafes here. Even Italian ones, I guess. <laughs> La Vaza. There's actually a really famous um, Italian restaurant. We'll probably come across it as I'm walking here called Aqua that has really, really good reviews. So surprising to have like such a well-rated Italian restaurant in a Sri Lankan uh, fort city. <laughs> This is another must that uh, many locals have actually uh, talked to me about as well. This spa salon uh, is supposed to have a lot of really good like bath and body sort of products. Um, I don't think it's an actual spa in here. It is just the, um, you know, products. But I've been on the fence about getting some because I do want to try it. But as you know, my bags are so full <laughs> and I just don't know if I have the room. But if you come here and do have extra room in your luggage, literally locals told me it is actually good stuff. So might be worth trying. I think the city really is just waking up right now not everything is open yet but i wanted to do the live stream now because number one it's not extremely hot yet and number two if i did it later it would be like 10 p.m or 11 p.m in uh, toronto and like east coast sort of time so i didn't want to do it too late for you guys so Hopefully by the end of the live stream, more things will open up because there are a lot of really great little businesses all in this area. If you like to shop like I like to shop, <laughs> you will like Gaul. Because to be honest, in most of the other places that I've been to, the shopping hasn't been great. Like in Colombo, of course, they have the big markets and stuff and they have one gal mall which is honestly so overpriced it's so overpriced for what you get um and it's not that great of a selection uh in candy there's not really any sort of shopping that i saw in marissa it's kind of like a beach town so sure you can maybe get a few like beach clothes kinds of things and some souvenirs but it's been really here in Gaul that actually has really beautiful boutiques with really unique stuff. So I would say if you're planning on shopping in Sri Lanka, leave your shopping until you get here because way more selection. Right in front of us is actually the restaurant that I went to yesterday for dinner. It's called Imal's and it's a, uh, you know, not a local, local place, but it's actually authentic local food that is super well rated. I think they're closed right now. Yeah, they don't open till 11. Um, because one thing you have to know about the fort that you might have already gotten the sense of is that it is super touristy. Like, let's be honest, it's, it's sure locals live here. And of course, locals also visit the fort, but it's mainly here for tourism and cultural purposes so understandably the prices of everything are a lot higher so especially to eat out within the fort uh, I would say your average meal like nothing even that fancy it's probably going to be at least at least like 15 US dollars like I kid you not it's actually that expensive here um, in both Marissa and um, here in Gaul, I have spent considerably more than I was expecting on food just because both of those places and Ella as well. Actually, Ella was a bit expensive because it's just tourists. It's just tourists. Um, so it's so much more. Whereas in Candy, for example, it is, well, this is an interesting street. 
I found a new streak, guys. I'm gonna show you guys in a sec. Um, candy, you know, it's a it's a local big city, so you could find actual local prices and honestly really good food um, in candy. But the tourist sort of cities now they like they milk you for as much as they think that you will spend. So just expect that if you are staying within the fort, your food especially is going to be very, very expansive. But yeah, look at this. Somehow I missed this street before. Let me take you guys around. There is a university though here. That's kind of the most local thing within the fort is that there is a university. So there are a lot of young people that you see hanging around which is awesome. Uh, another gym asks, but no pickpockets. Um, I mean, maybe there is some, but honestly, overall, other than my one primary negative experience in uh, Colombo with like some creepy guys, I really haven't had any safety. <laughs> oh, one sec. <laughs> I need to be careful with how I phrase that. So I haven't had any like scary like safety issues in that sense anymore. And no, I, I don't feel like there's really like, oh, people looking to pickpocket or something. I don't get that sense at all. A tuk tuk trying to rip you off. Absolutely, absolutely. That's something that, you know, you need to research, you need to figure out. The biggest <laughs> dangers here in Sri Lanka is the traffic. <laughs> the traffic here is absolutely insane. You do have to be so careful. And then also the heat. The heat is also incredibly dangerous. So it's dangerous, but it's not dangerous than the like, somebody's gonna mug you or somebody's gonna like, I don't know, grab you kind of thing. Having said that, do your due diligence, you know, be, careful where you go stick to the more touristy areas um you know don't go out at night by yourself but honestly other than that it's it's been really chill it's it's actually been fine so happy to report oh thank you so much to harriet jim and yuki for the super chat buy yourself some lunch and cool drink thank you so much guys i absolutely will be doing that uh, as soon as I get off the stream because yeah wow I was so happy that there wasn't a wind this morning but now I wish there was a bit of a wind because sweat is like pouring down my back already it's like absolutely absolutely insane how hot it is or humid I should say that that's really the issue is we're right beside the water and like I, I just feel like there's so much humidity in the air. <laughs> okay. So good. Let's see here. Oh, literally, literally the first thing that I wanted to actually say when I started this live stream and I mean, I say it in my actual video, is the first thought, the first thought that I had when I first got here is that understandably, it's so similar to Cartagena in Colombia, obviously walled city, fort, colonial architecture from yes, the Spaniards instead of the Portuguese and the Dutch. But yeah, so many, so many similarities in uh, some of the construction, being able to walk along the walls and just the vibes, you know, it's a tropical coastal uh, city. So very many similarities to Cartagena. And that was also like my main <laughs> and only uh, live stream from Colombia. And that was, you know, before my whole incident and really understanding just how dangerous Colombia was. So how the hell I live streamed in that fort for freaking two hours and did not get my phone snatched 
is honestly a miracle, <laughs> like an absolute miracle that I made it out of there fine. But I love Cartagena. <laughs> That's actually one of my favorite places uh, in Colombia, but uh, very, very different in other ways. All right. Oh, wait, did I miss a super chat? I did. Emerson, thank you so much for the super chat. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. I want to flip the camera here, guys, and take you to the clock tower. That is also a very important landmark in the city. I don't think you can climb to the top of it from my knowledge. See some now they are probably either Dutch or British sort of soldiers up there. I don't think the clock tower was built in Portuguese times, so a little bit more recent. Maybe it'll say somewhere over here. Oh, it actually says the clock is, oh, the actual clock is the gift of Samson Andrew Rajapaski of Coscoda. I want to know when the tower was built. Oh, here we go. All right. Established in 1883 in honor of Dr. Daniel Anthonis, I'm saying that wrong. Uh, so I guess, so I guess by, first it was built by the Dutch, then it was removed by the British in 1879, making way for construction of, oh, okay, no, I, re I read that wrong. So it was, it was done by the British, okay. All right. You got some cute doggies, some cute doggies in there, and a cannon. <laughs> Beautiful. Very nice. All right, let's make our way a little bit more on the fort walls and then I'll take you to a really famous street within the fort, but not before showing you the cricket stadium that they have here. I have no idea how cricket works other than they hit the ball with a paddle. But if you are a fan of cricket, this is a good place to come to, to watch a match. I think they're doing some kind of warm up or something. Oh, yeah, some kind of warm up there. Whew. Does anybody in the comments know how to play cricket? Let me know. <laughs> But yeah, outside of Gaul Fort is obviously Gaul City. Like this is the part where more locals live, work, just have their everyday life. And sure, they'll come walk in the fort, you know, just because it's beautiful and a great place to hang out. But <clears throat> I think people who actually live in this area primarily, you know, uh, stay out there because there is more modern kind of stuff better prices like um, I don't know Exactly what the selection would be but if you wanted a cheaper place to stay uh, Staying outside of the fort would definitely lower the prices and you'd also have more budget-friendly restaurants And it's not that far like it's not that far to get from there to here but just more convenient and obviously very beautiful to stay within the fort uh, if you're okay staying at a budget sort of guest house, it's actually not that expensive. Like the place that I'm staying at is, I think, 35 Canadian. So maybe about, I don't know, 27 US per night without breakfast. Uh, so I feel like that's 
pretty reasonable. So the accommodation isn't actually too badly priced within the fort. If you take a look around, it's really the food that I would say almost everywhere is quite overpriced. Cricket says, or I mean, Percy says cricket is one of the most popular sports in New Zealand besides rugby and water sports. Oh, I didn't know that actually. Oh, Harriet, Jim, and Yuki sent me something about cricket. Sorry, I didn't see it. Let me just go against the wall here. Oh, what the heck, guys? I don't see it. <laughs> Just saw a comment from Busy Bee, though. Uh, currently in Bogota, watching all your helpful Colombia videos. I don't even go out with my phone. Too many pip pockets and thieves oh well i hope you have a great trip like yeah just be safe it is still a very beautiful you know country in so many other ways and most of the people are wonderful but yeah the the thieves there they they don't play around um harriet jim and yuki i don't see your comment about the cricket or maybe i misunderstood your comment i'm not sure Hmm. Interesting. John's Journey says, I'm back to the Netherlands from Thailand. Oh, well, I guess you escaped the worst part of the year, so that's good weather wise. Sure, you had a fabulous time in Thailand. Weekend with Mike. Hi, Alina, watching from Calgary. Thank you so much, Mike. I will actually be in Calgary in how many months? About three months. In three months, I'm going to be back to Canada. And of course, I'm flying to Calgary where my mom is. In a way that really doesn't feel that far away. Because <laughs> when I started this trip, I guess it was, what, five-ish months ago? So I'm two-thirds almost of the way. <laughs> Three months will fly by. And I know for some people, you know, just a couple of weeks traveling probably feels like a lot. And in a way it is if you're moving from place to place all the time. But when you kind of have a you know, desk job that you have to do in the meantime as well, uh, and you can't travel that quickly, time passes a lot faster go down here what the hell why is somebody spamming please do not spam on my channel Whew. I think we're getting into some of the original ruins that they have here in the fort. Just over here, there's a little plaque that says Portuguese structural remains. So, pretty incredible that it's still here from when it was initially built about 500 years ago, even more technically. Richie says, hello, Alina from California. Thank you so much. And Manny says, I like the scenery there. Would love to visit Sri Lanka someday. You absolutely should. It is a very beautiful country. I'm actually curious. Let me know in the comments. For those of you who haven't been to Sri Lanka. The fuck? Thing moved in the grass and I thought it was a snake. Um, for those of you who have never been to Sri Lanka before, what 
do you kind of know about it and you know what are your sorts of assumptions about it and would you or wouldn't you travel here like I know I had some people that were like oh I'm so excited for you to check it out this is a country I've been thinking of going to and then I had the opposite where some people are like oh it's so dangerous you know they just had the economic crash it's especially not safe for women you know why are you going there so two very very different <laughs> opinions and assumptions because you know both of the people who actually said that to me both hadn't been to Sri Lanka yet so I'm curious what do you guys kind of have as an unformed opinion of Sri Lanka if you haven't been here before? Let me just get out of the sun for a second. Percy says, yes, I would like to travel to Sri Lanka and explore it. Manny says, I know it's a small island in South Asia with great hospitality, great food and nice scenery. Yes, it absolutely is. Alex says it's a tropical country. It's hot all year. That it is. Oh gosh. Jim says there are impressive meals within Sri Lanka. Yeah, so I guess mainly positive comments. So that's good. I'm glad to hear that most of you do have more positive um, knowings of the country because it, it is like it it, it has been a, a very good experience overall for me traveling here um, not only does it have more tourist infrastructure than i was expecting um, a lot more people speak english than i was expecting you know to welcome <laughs> the amounts of tourism that come here most people are extremely nice very welcoming and just you know it, it's it's very almost admirable that they are so hospitable after all the difficult times that they have been through and you know i'm sure they have so much going on in their lives but they're still very happy to welcome tourists and open their homes you know to us so i've overall had a very positive experience in Sri Lanka and even as a solo female like while I wouldn't say this is like the safest place to travel to and you do have to take you know certain precautions but overall I would say that if you know if you are taking those precautions like staying in good areas not going out at night really by yourself other than here in Galfort like Gal I would say is probably fine um you know not talking to strangers or going with strangers too much um i think that you would be absolutely fine here like i really don't think you have that much to worry about as a solo female traveler it's mainly maybe if you're going by yourself really off the beaten track you know that could maybe get you in trouble but if you are staying in the main tourist centers i really don't think you have that much to worry about so overall it has been a very positive experience a few things that I wish could be better next time I come here. Number one, number one is the internet. <laughs> Especially here in Gaul. I can't even tell you guys like how many issues I have had here other than with my cell uh, service, which thank God, like thank God at least my cell service has been overall fine. But as far as using Wi-Fi here, it is it it just it has been bad it has been get bad guys i would not recommend anybody who's like a digital nomad or work remotely unless you're like in colombo and for sure have stable internet don't look at this as a place to come it is way too unstable and uh it's just so hard to find good wi-fi sometimes so that's actually why my videos you know haven't been coming out as quickly as i'd want is because it's been very challenging to uh be able to upload large files like it's been it's been very very difficult that way so that would be my number one number two is it would be nice if they did upgrade the train lines to not only have faster service but also have more tickets available more routes available because a few of the places that I wanted to go to by train all completely sold out and then to go by car usually is much more expensive 
So uh, that was the other issue, I would say. It's so hot, guys. It's so freaking hot. And that's the third issue. <laughs> and that's the third issue. That is so freaking hot. And I think that's it. And that there's not AC. That, that, that's, the, uh, that, that's my other complaint, that there's not enough AC. Do yourself a favor and make sure the hotel room that you get. I was going to take off my sunglasses. Oh, God. Oh, God, guys. I'm really, I'm really actually getting a little lightheaded. It's so fucking hot. Um, yeah, make sure you get a room that has AC. Don't do what I did and was just like, oh, it's a guest house with great ratings and you know, a fan should be good enough. It's not, it's just, it's just not. Just spend the extra money, get a room with AC, especially if you are anywhere in the South. And uh, also keep in mind that in certain places like Marissa, I was just shocked. No restaurants or cafes even have AC. Like I couldn't find a single restaurant in Marissa that had AC. So the whole week that I was there, there was no reprise. <laughs> there was no AC in that whole freaking town. So yeah, just keep that in mind if you're somebody who doesn't deal with the heat well. So those are my three complaints. Other than that, it's been great. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera as I read these. Oh my God, my camera is so hot. Holy heck. I'm like touching my screen and it's like burning my finger a little bit. That is not good. Uh, oh, I missed, I missed a super chat from my lovely friend Shigeru. Hello, my friend Alina. How are you today? Even though it's March, it's snowing this morning in Tokyo. Oh, that's surprising. That is very surprising that it would be snowing in March in Tokyo. Jeez very strange but thank you so much Shigeru thank you for coming out and supporting as always I hope you are doing good and honestly I'd take five to ten degrees of that cold that you guys got in Japan right now <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't mind the extra heat <laughs> so thank you so much oh my god guys I am not doing good here holy hell and it's like 8 30 right now like what is this Oh, okay. This is what I really wanted to show you on this street. This is the most famous church um, in the city. This is the Dutch Reformed Church, and I believe this is the original that was built in August uh, 1755. So quite a while ago. And what's, in my opinion, strange about it is that the floor of the church, I'm not able to film inside, I tried to go in yesterday, it's tombstones. Like, I guess this was a graveyard and then they built a church over it. To me, that's kind of weird, but I guess that's normal in certain Christian faiths. Maybe let me know in the comments, but yeah, I mean, interesting, unique church, but I have just never seen that before. So that was a bit odd, in my opinion. This is also the oldest library in all of Sri Lanka. Gal Library established in 1832. So that's pretty cool. Still, I think it's still in use today from my understanding. Like they have actual books that I think you can take out if you're a local or something. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, I'm just gonna stand here in the very nice shade and read your comments. Oh, George Weeb, thank you so much for the super chat. That is so sweet of you. And uh, I think you're the same George that joined my Patreon. If you are, thank you so much. And if you're not, also thank you so much. Thank you very much, George. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I could definitely use some of the Canadian cold right now. Amazing. 
It's actually almost been an hour here. I thought that the live stream had only been going on for about 30 minutes, but as always, it stretches on to much longer. We'll see, we'll see how I feel, but probably guys, like if I'm already feeling this crap, such a short amount of time in, maybe I got 15 to 20 more minutes in me, we'll see. Uh, this is a cool thing to visit, the Maritime Archaeology Museum. If you're into that, they have some different um, exhibits about shipbuilding in Sri Lanka, as well as also finding some different artifacts that were found that were found in shipwrecks just off the coast uh, here in the south. So, a little bit of a nice historical thing to do. Let's keep heading on this way. And we got another beautiful church, which to me, I think this is British, right? Like this is probably Catholic. I think this is a Catholic church or no, Anglican church, uh, All Saints Church. Very nice built in February 21st, 1871. So yeah, during the British uh, occupation. That, those trees are so beautiful, the pink flowers. It's so nice in the shade. <laughs> and maybe that was my problem. I was really in the direct sun the past half hour. When I'm walking here in the shade, it's so much better. Clan house. I don't know what that is. Coming up here is uh, a place that I would really recommend uh, for anybody looking for a beautiful, like actual historic place to stay, which is the Gal Fort hotel one of the older hotels in the city and that also has an incredible bar this is where i went yesterday and it'll be in my video but as you can see it says Condé Nast 20 best bars in Sri Lanka and they have a certain kind of spirit that is popular here in Sri Lanka called a rock and so they have a really good a rock cocktails for a fairly reasonable price for like a fancy bar in my opinion so if you're looking for a great bar to go to I would say this is one of the top recommendations that I would have uh, they also kind of have some appetizer sorts of foods really really nice all right let's keep on going down here oh wow john omira hello alina from thunder bay ontario that's a ways away hello to you as well Chamari asks, what local food have you experienced so far? Well, I'm sure there's some things that I haven't tried, but I think I've tried all of the basics, like curries on end. I have tried at least like 10 different kinds of vegetarian curries, which is the most popular thing that you will find when you are, um, you know, going to the local sorts of buffets, which are by far the you know most budget friendly places to eat is the curry bars but i've also had some uh meat sort of uh, curries as well i've had you know different oh actually let's go down here i've had different like chicken prawn fish curries i've had roti 
usually made with coconut. I've had kotu. I've had um, hoppers, of course. Hoppers have kind of been the most unique thing that I've eaten because other than, you know, dosas in India, which I think is the closest thing, but not at all the same thing. That's the closest I've ever had to something like that. So hoppers, I would say, is the most unique thing that I have eaten here that I haven't had before. Um, what else? Vade, which is like those doll little bites. Those have been good. Um, trying to think. I mean, those are like the main everyday sorts of foods. I've also had a few desserts, but to be honest, I don't remember all of the names. The most favorite thing that I had was a sort of like crepe that had a very sweet like coconut filling to it. Maybe a local could tell me in the comments what it is I ate, but I really liked that where it was a very thin crepe with uh, a sweet kind of coconut mixture on the inside. So yeah. Aww. Thank you so much to Rahul. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for the lovely tour of Gaul. Enjoyed following your travels across Sri Lanka. Happy International Women's Day to one of the most strong and uh, creative and inspirational women I've seen. That is so sweet of you, Rahul. Thank you so much. I feel so blessed that I have so many amazing men like following me, you know, here on YouTube. I never expected to actually have a primarily male audience, I'll be honest, when I first uh, started YouTube, but I'm just so grateful for men like you, Rahul, for all of your support. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you have been enjoying uh, the videos so far, and I hope you will enjoy the ones coming out of my next destination, which, yeah, I was really on the fence whether I should like I mean, my Patreon already knows where I'm going, but my, you know, regular audience doesn't. So I think I will save it as a surprise and my first announcement of it will be a live stream. So that's probably gonna happen in literally a week from now. So it won't be too far in the future. But thank you so much, Rahul, as always. Uh, let's see here, guys. So this, uh, where we are right now is actually a sort of shopping street. As you can see, there's a lot of gemstone shops here in the fort. There are lots of lovely restaurants, Sugar Bistro, <laughs> for example. Uh, the other nice thing about uh, Gaul is that they also, whoa, I'm sorry, hold the phone. What is this? Is this an elephant tuk tuk? What? Oh my god. Okay, well, I don't think it's actually in use because you couldn't drive it around, but that is hilarious. Oh my god, I love that. That's actually impressive. They should really have that more on display because I've probably walked past this so many times but didn't even notice it. Whoever made this, I love it. I absolutely love it. Incredible. Fabulous. Um, okay. You know, let's actually go back this way. I wanted to take you guys down Peddler Street. And if I'm not mistaken, I actually walked past it because that's where all the best boutiques are in the city um, but what I was gonna say is the nice thing here in uh, Gaul is there's a lot of really nice beauty uh, boutiques with uh, a lot of clothing stores all made in Sri Lanka and also the textiles made in Sri Lanka and there's some pretty unique ones like made with kind of like um, well, coconut basically there's another word I'm looking for but it's made out of coconut and it was a really interesting feeling material so if you're looking for some really interesting clothes here in Sri Lanka I would say that Gaul has very good selection 
Isle of Gelato must be a local chain because I also saw it in Ella and it was so popular there like everybody was getting ice cream from there it is really good um, fresh gelato that they make here so if you're looking for a good ice cream after dinner that would be a good choice all right where is peddler street think not so this must be the next one or am I am I all turned around I could be all turned around or am I on peddler street <laughs> oh boy <laughs> I'm definitely lost <laughs> um okay either way either way we're seeing some cool stuff but I wanted to find Peddler Street and I could very well be on it and just not recognize this part of it uh, but that's like the best street for shopping is the reason that I wanted to go there no thank you Punto Cat yeah, uh, yeah, I'm on fucking Peddler Street, Jesus, oh my God. <laughs> it's like looking for your glasses when they're right on your face, that's exactly it. I thought that, I'm just like, oh yeah, okay, so this shopping district looks pretty good, but I remember Peddler Street being better, but I think I was thinking of Peddler Street further on. So, this is the main shopping street. <laughs> uh, we can walk a little ways more down it and then uh, I'll show you guys the Dutch hospital which is I guess similar to the one in Colombo where it was initially a hospital but then they've turned it into a shopping arcade so we can do that That is if I last, because I'm also, once again, getting a little bit lightheaded. Need to stay in the shade here. Hello. Lots of school kids. Or actually, I think these people are all going to um, the temple, the Buddhist temple. There's a really beautiful one here because uh, one of my local guides was saying that to the temples you do have to wear all white. So I assume that's where they're going. Oh, is that a wedding car? It's different kinds of flowers and bows on it. All right. Let's see here. I think we can go down here. I feel like I have <laughs> at least somewhat of a grasp on finding my way around because I'm off, off the track that I initially set for. Oh, that's a monkey. That's a monkey. One second. That's the first one that I've seen in Gaul. They're all over Marissa and stuff, but here in the fort I have not seen them. Interesting. Um, I feel like I more or less know where the main things are within the fort, but there's also all these little like side streets that can get you all turned around. So this is only my third day here. I'm still kind of learning where everything is. All 
This right here is a really popular restaurant, Mango House. Really lovely kind of garden area in there as well. Oh, did I miss a super chat? It's so hard to see in this strong sunlight. Thank you so much, Percy. <laughs> Have a scrumptious meal of prawns and fish and a happy Women's Day as well. Cheers. Thank you so much, Percy. That is so kind of you. I absolutely will be doing that. Um, and you're from New Zealand. Amazing. Thank you so much. That's another country that I really want to go back to at some point because I did go to Australia and New Zealand. Gosh while ago i was 18 so that's how many years that's 15 years 15 years since uh i was in australia and new zealand so i'm sure a lot of things have changed but when i was there i did really enjoy it both countries are very beautiful kind of reminded me of the dynamic you know between usa and canada so obviously New Zealand and Canada were the little guys, but have a lot to offer. Very chill people. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I think it's been almost every second live stream, hasn't it? Uh, on this trip in Southeast Asia, other than when I'm up in the mountains somewhere, every single one of my like live streams from Southeast Asia, even though I start them in the morning, I get so tired and like heat strokey. Because when I'm filming, usually I have a break in between talking and I'm not as concentrating on so many things, but with a live stream, it does, you know, I'm working on all, all cylinders and in the heat, it just makes me like really, really lightheaded for some reason, so. I think I'm gonna have to wrap things up here pretty soon. Uh, Eager says hello from Nepal, amazing. Oh, glad you've been getting all the postcards, John. Very happy to hear that. For anybody who is in my postcard club, yeah, all the cards from Sri Lanka have already gone out. So I hope you will be getting those in the mail soon. And yeah, for my next destination, depending on where I can find postcards, I'm sure I should be able to, but I just don't know where the first place will be. I'll be sending those out soon as well. Thank you so much to Shageru. Thank you so much for the super chat. That is so sweet of you. Thank you as always. Uh, I'm pretty close to the Dutch hospital, aren't I? I think I kind of, yeah. If I go around this way, I think. Actually, I can go that way. Okay. I'm gonna show you just a few more things, guys, and then I think we're gonna wrap it up. I need to like go sit luckily in an air conditioned place because they have those here get a cool drink of water and just take a little break so let's just see a couple more places here and then we're gonna end things off because it has been already over an hour and initially i thought i would only do an hour so we've done it we did a live stream from sri lanka and it was definitely the best place because Colombo would have been fine too, but the issue with Colombo is that a lot of the attractions have pretty big distances in between them. So it would be an extremely long live stream for me to show you guys a lot of different places. Um, so that wouldn't have been that great of an option. And then Marissa really only has the beach area, which would have been nice to live stream on. The other roads that they have there are super busy and like dangerous with traffic. So that wouldn't have been good. Ella was super small. And then Candy, while there are lots of beautiful natural attractions outside of the city, other than Candy Lake, there's not really a lot to see right in the city. So Gaul, in my opinion, was like the perfect 
place to show you guys on live stream. So it worked out great. Oh, actually here, okay. They have a real estate business here in Gaul and I'll be honest and say the prices, because they are primarily selling to foreigners, I take it, is not that cheap. Sure, it's cheaper than stuff you will find in Toronto or New York or something like that, but still, like some of the, like, I don't know, here, the sheriff's house. Um, it's just off the beach. I'm sure it's beautiful, but like 750,000 US dollars, like that's, that's pretty expensive. The villa is nestled in a small village, 300 meters off the beach. You know, like, well, okay, okay. Actually, no, maybe I take it back. Maybe it is an actual mansion. If it's an actual mansion, then maybe it is legit. But just some of these I'm saying were a lot more than I was expecting. <laughs> Like this over here is definitely a beachfront villa. I'm sure it's fabulous, but a million dollars, like a million dollars is a lot of money. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys think it's worth it. Don't wanna get in this guy's picture. What a good Instagram husband. He's really working too, good for him. That's the male energy we need going into Women's Day. <laughs> He's a good man, Savannah, a good man. <laughs> and here we are, guys. Here we are at the Dutch hospital. And back also beside the fort walls. Very scenic, very beautiful. Let me give you a view from the other side of the hospital as well. Now it's obviously not a hospital anymore. It has been turned into a shopping and restaurant arcade, but I do believe that this was a working hospital at some point really lovely architecture. Fabulous. And that is it. I'm just gonna take a little seat. I'm so tired guys. And it's just the morning. I think I need a hospital right now, Jesus. Oh, I did not expect to, yeah, feel like this so early in the morning, guys. I specifically started my live stream early to get away from the heat, but I think it's because there's no wind. Because I was out all day yesterday in this heat and above, but maybe the breeze just made it better. I am, I am not, not at my best right now, so I need to dip into some air conditioning. I am absolutely going to go have a drink and some yummy food. Thanks to all your uh, kind and thoughtful support with the super chats. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you to everyone who came out because this is the only live stream that I'm doing from Sri Lanka. I will be off to my next destination very, very soon. Thank you so much to Rahul for the super chat. That is so sweet of you. I actually love the little super sticker there too. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you for all of your support. I feel so lucky that I get to do this even when, you know, <laughs> it puts me out of my comfort zone and some conditions are hard to work with. Every day I'm happy to be here. I'm so grateful for this job and I'm so grateful for this community. So I hope you guys uh, are enjoying and will enjoy my videos to come. Oh my gosh, I'm like, oh, my makeup is running. Sorry guys, I'm a mess right now. 
Um, I hope that through my video, some of you will consider uh, visiting Sri Lanka because it is a really amazing country and I think it is really on the up and up. There is gonna be a lot of changes happening, you know, for the better, I think in the next five to 10 years. And uh, most tourists who come here, I think have a really great time. So if you're considering coming to this part of the world, I think it definitely should be a uh, consideration. So thank you all so much, sending you so much love. Hope you're all having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.